This is your class live recording for your Oedipus, Romeo and Juliet, and Tragedy essay uh, for English 1. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about with you is, is the thesis or, or your point of your paper. Um, and this first bit is, is a direct quote from your assignment. To what extent does either Romeo and Juliet or Oedipus Rex fit with Aristotle's definition of tragedy? In supporting your argument, use direct quotations both from the play and from Aristotle's poetics. So the whole purpose of your essay is to discuss whether Aristotle's, according to Aristotle's poetics, are these tragedies. Now you can discuss both, you can discuss one, it's kind of up to you how you want to approach this. Um, it'll be easier, I think, to just select one of the plays and talk about whether or not that fits with Aristotle's definition of tragedy. But again, that's up to you and how much you want to um, write and research, I suppose. So here are the elements of tragedy according to Aristotle. Uh, plot, character, thought, diction, song and melody, and spectacle. Um, now, as you've gone through Oedipus, um, Oedipus fits really well with Aristotle's guidelines because it was written in the same time period. Um, and so it really follows it. Now, if we're talking about Romeo and Juliet, we're talking about a couple thousand years later. Uh, so it, it may not fall in directly into these kind of things. You know, song, melody, is is Romeo and Juliet really a musical? No. But is there song and a, and a melodious kind of rhythm to it? And we know that there is thanks to the iambic pentameter. So these are the elements of tragedy, according to Aristotle, that you should be analyzing your play against. Um, I recommend picking two of those elements and really getting to the meat of the play and, and discussing if it does or not. When writing this essay, um, I recommend using some background information or discussing the author. So if we're talking about Oedipus, we're going to look at Sophocles, and if we're talking about Romeo and Juliet, we're going to be discussing Shakespeare. Or you might go the other direction and talk about Aristotle and how he established kind of the criteria for determining a tragedy. Either way, you're going to give us some information, you're going to give us your main points, which should be the elements of tragedy that you've selected, and your thesis, which again is the question, um, or excuse me, you should be answering the question, uh, are these plays tragic according to Aristotle? Um, for your body paragraphs, they should be pretty similar. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to start with your topic sentence. So you might say one of the elements of tragedy, according to Aristotle, is character. Characters must be X, Y, Z. And then go in and list your evidence. Uh, evidence should come in the forms of direct quotes. So these quotes should come from the text so that I know where you're getting this information. Then you'll need to explain your evidence. You can't just slap in a description of Romeo and say, yep, his character, you have to explain that that's his character and that his character does fall into these elements of tragedy. You can't just slap in evidence and expect me to interpret it for you. Um, so that's really what I'm looking for here. Once your explanation um, covers what you've been talking about, you're going to tie it back to your thesis. So you're going to say, you know, this this is proving that he is indeed a tragic character. Character, And then you'll move on to your next piece of evidence. So each body paragraph should have uh, evidence, explanation, tie back to thesis, evidence, explanation, tie back to thesis. Uh, so this should be a pretty simple uh, essay for you to get through, especially if you've got the text nearby and you can grab really good quotes from it. Um, when it comes to your conclusion, remember you're just going to summarize this nice and easy for me. Um, restate your main points in your thesis, and then tie back to your introduction. So again, if we're talking about Romeo and Juliet, and you started this essay discussing how Shakespeare loves a good tragedy, which he does, um, then you're going to finish up by discussing tragedy again in relation to Shakespeare. Some do's and don'ts here for you. Do reread for clarity. Uh, I encourage all of my students to reread all of their essays out loud. I think by reading it out loud, you hear a little better what you're saying in your essay. And it allows you to kind of catch any goofy grammatical errors that you might have. Don't assume that your first draft will be perfect. Um, quite frequently, I kick essays back to my students and, and give suggestions. This is for your benefit, so you can get not only a better grade, um, but you'll become a better writer that way by understanding what it is that you should be writing. Um, so I, I think that's a good thing when you rewrite, um, and it makes your writing better. Uh, do explain and give relevant evidence. Um, it would be kind of silly if you were 
doing the analysis on Oedipus, and you threw in a quote from Shakespeare, obviously that's not going to make any sense, so give relevant evidence and then explain it thoroughly. Please don't use personal pronouns or talk about your essay as an entity. Nothing breaks my heart more than when I pull up an essay to grade and it says, Today my essay will talk about, or in this essay I will. Um, just please don't do it. You shouldn't talk about your essay as an entity. Don't talk about yourself in your essay. Um, just start writing. Do use direct quotes. Don't summarize from the story unless it's part of your explanation. For your evidence, always use direct quotes. If you can, put what page it's from or what act it's from, so that way I, you and I are on the same page. Otherwise, that's it. Good luck. Happy writing. Um, let me know if you have questions, and otherwise I'll see you in class.